Hi everybody. Hi everybody. And welcome to our October. <laughs> what did you have to think about it? It's my birthday Sorry. month, right? <laughs> Are you serious? Are we carrying on? Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, I suppose you have uh, we're the company of greatness, and uh, we both love uh, Kanonko. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> They always shoot the lights out. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, I, I, sorry, Sam, if I, if I may just very rudely interrupt. Have you ever walked, you've walked into many five star hotels, right? And obviously, so have I. Yeah, I'm very, sometimes, very lucky that Sometimes way. you walk into a hotel and you know it's five star. However, you walk through the doors and you don't experience it quite as five stars. And okay. Then there's others that you walk in and it's a five star and it's a five star deluxe. This is one of those examples. You know you're tasting high quality, but the moment mm. it's in the glass, it just takes it to a different level. And we're talking about the Canon Corp Cabernet Sauvignon 2017. Well, what is so refreshing about this wine is that I think we both had tasting, uh, fortunate enough to taste the auction wines. We had a certain wine style in mind of what we can expect. And uh, we drink the Pinotage. We know the Pinotage, um, you know, all the different expressions of it that's got a certain allure to them so when we had this wine earlier today it wasn't quite what we expected i don't think we've had the cab for a while but we were both blown away i think we expected something maybe riper something a little bit more um broader in terms of like of, of ripeness but what a what a elegant elegant cab from Stellenbosch. Sure. I mean, this wine's just been launched, uh, the, the 17 Cabernet Sauvignon. And like you said, we've tasted a few cabs in the past. However, there's, there's something different about this little number. Well, we really wanted to show it off too. So we went to make a, uh, um, a lamb shank pie <laughs> that turned out beautifully. <laughs> and uh, the pairing was just perfect. It just perfect. worked. Let's it just discuss worked. this wine in the glass. So, Undoubtedly Cabernet Sauvignon, Sam. I mean, you've got that beautiful cassis, the black currants, that uh, almost that stewed mulberry nose. Uh, you said uh, you said earlier when we tasted them, when we paired it this afternoon, you said you're picking up that that pencil shaving, that very fresh pencil shavings. Uh, I picked up some cedar wood. I picked up some wet cigar uh, um, tobacco leaves. I mean, all those nuances of all those. I mean, that's 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 Cabernet. That's that's I love watch Cabernet, isn't it? I like to use the term like the sun baking on slate. It's got that coolness about it, but you know that it's quite it's it's structured and it's and it's well poised and it's it's sculpted and it's chiseled. And if you go to Kanonkop, I mean they make use of a lot of old techniques. Sure they do. It's not that they rely on on, on, on modern techniques or a very modern cellar per se. I mean uh, um, I think back in the days the most modern thing about it was Johan Krieger on his Harley Davidson when I did his shoot. <laughs> and, but I mean, they, they still, they, they're really getting dirty. They really get in touch with the grapes. Um, it, is a, it, it is a wine that, that makes itself, I know it sounds like a cliche, but they, they've come to know what they work with. Of course they do. And they know how to let the wine do the talking. Sure, and I think it's secret, not a secret, because I mean, everybody, it's, it's, it's it's what everybody strives for, every winemaker strives for, but as, lo as less intervention as possible. You just let the grapes do the talking. In this case, the grapes are certainly doing the talking. Yeah, Aubrey, you, you, um, what's that word? I almost said blew my skirt up. Did Aubrey blow your skirt up? <laughs> Aubrey, I think it's my picky chassan, she's so. Chomp my socks off. Oh, okay, that's fine. We'll stick to socks. But, <laughs> but uh, but I think I've got a new favorite in the in the yeah. category. No, it's there, super, so. <laughs> super, super, super wine. I mean, like we discussed, all the different noses. But there's an incredible intensity on the nose, and, and yeah, the violet is just... Sure, if you, you think there's intensity on the nose, you'll find on the palate, I mean, it just quadruples. But everything, again, in proportion. Nothing's over the top. I mean, the wine has got those nice firm tannins without overpowering the fruit. Mm. You've got mm. everything, and the, the freshness is there. I mean, it's just spent over, uh, just on two years in oak, uh, which I think 50% was new. But I mean, everything just slots into place. Sam, and although this wine's six years old, 
Alright then, I think this wine will, will, will buy, definitely get better within the next 18 to 24 months. I think the big surprise we had today was that the alcohol was so beautifully managed while being ripe, but then this immense, almost profound freshness about this wine that it can, it, it's not tiring, it is, it's delicious, it carries the fruit, the fruit, the oak is well judged, it is just a classic, elegant example with one leg in the old world and one leg in the new world. Sure, absolutely, and just, mm. you know, just seconding what you just said now, I mean, I think the average age is 24, 25 year old on these vines. So, oh, okay. Yeah, so I mean, I these vines, know. yeah, these vines have, have been around the block for a while. And so is this estate, and uh, yeah, and this wine is going to be around the block for a long time to come. I, you know, even with my glasses, I can't see. But uh, what I love about Condon Calls Back label is I've got a graph when it shows you when it starts peaking and how long it'll peak for, and when is it expected to start peaking. Well, it goes on until yeah, it starts uh, until way. about twenty thirty. Bella, when does it start? Twenty seventeen. Oh, peaking twenty nineteen. Jesus, me. Twenty twenty one. Thank you, brava. Sorry, I was going to have my glasses on. <laughs> so yeah, start speaking to me, anyone. And like I said, this thing's going to go the distance. Exquisite wines. Congratulations, Condon Corp. Congratulations, Aubrey. Thank you for the super, super uh, opportunity to taste this wine. And thank you for pairing, and thank you for making, you know, for pairing it this afternoon. I mean, I normally do the pairings, but uh, Mrs. Smith Melitia, yeah, took over this afternoon. And congratulations. The rubbing off. Of course it is. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Bella. Yeah, thank you. I can't see properly either. Ha, ha, ha.